Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to divide exponents with the same base. For these, we keep the base the same and then subtract the exponents. For example, if we have x to the power of a divided by x to the power of b, that equals x to the power of a minus b. Let's jump into our examples and see exactly how this works. Starting with number one, where we have x to the power of five divided by x to the power of three. So we keep our base of x the same. Let's write out our base of x, and then we subtract the exponents. So five minus three, that gives us an exponent of two. So our solution is x squared or x to the power of two. Let's break that down and see exactly how it works. So let's start with x to the power of five. That means x times x times x times x times x. And we are dividing it by x to the power of three or x cubed. That means x times x times x. So once we have this, we can cancel out x's, so to speak, because x divided by x equals one. So these x's can cancel out, these x's can cancel out, and then these x's can cancel out. We don't have any x's left below. We can think of that as one, because again, x divided by x equals one. So I can put a one down here, and we're left with two x's, x times x, which equals x squared. And like I said, we have a one down here, which just means x squared. And that gives us the same thing we got when we kept the base the same and then subtracted the exponents. Let's move on to number two, where we have four to the power of seven divided by four squared. Keep the base of four the same. So the base of four here, and then subtract the exponents. So seven minus two, that gives us an exponent of five. So four to the power of five, and that equals 1,024. So that's our final solution there for number two. Let's break it down and see exactly how we got four to the fifth power. So four to the seventh power, we know is four times four times four times four times four times four, and finally times four. And that's divided by four squared. So four times four. And we can cancel out fours. Four divided by four equals one. So we'll cancel these fours out, and then these fours. We're left with a one down below, and then we have five fours up here, which that is four to the fifth power over one, which is just four to the fifth power. And that matches our answer when we kept the base the same and then subtracted the exponents. And lastly, let's move on to number three, where we have two cubed divided by two to the power of eight. So keep the base the same. So we keep our base of two, and then we subtract the exponents. So we have three minus eight. That's actually going to give us a negative five. So we have two to the power of negative five. Now a negative exponent indicates that we're going to perform the inverse. So when we have a negative exponent, we take the reciprocal. So this is going to give us one over two to the power of five. Now two to the power of five equals 32. So our solution is going to be one thirty second or one over 32. Let's break this down and see exactly how we ended up with two to the power of negative five. So we have two cubed, which means two times two times two. 
And then we have two to the power of eight. So two times two times two times two times two times two times two and times two. Let's extend this line here. And then we can cancel twos. So cancel this two and that two, these twos here, and then these twos. So we are left with one up top here because remember, canceling out those twos, two divided by two equals one. So we do have one for our numerator here within our division problem of two cubed divided by two to the power of eight. And then we are left with five twos down here, which equals two to the power of five. So we have one over two to the power of five. And we know that two to the power of five equals 32. So we get one 32nd or one over 32, which matches when we kept the base the same and subtracted the exponents. So there you have it. There's how you divide exponents with the same base. Keep the base the same and then subtract the exponents. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.